Bonjour! Have you heard of the Devil's Island? Today I'm taking you to the Royal Island, Lille Royale. I cannot take you to the Devil's Island because it's not open to the public. But the Royal Island is one of the three Salvation Islands and it will give you an idea of what it was like on the Devil's Island. Thousands of French convicts went sent there. So if you are interested in this, then stay with us. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! As you can see on the map, Lille Royale is of French Guiana, and between 1852 to 1953, the worst criminals from mainland France were sent to the Salvation Islands. But why were they called the Salvation Islands? The survivors of the disastrous crew expedition wanted by Louis XV found refuge right there between March and December 1764, and from that date the islands were called the Salvation Islands. And there were three types of criminals, les transportés, those who were convicted of forced labor, les relégués, the multi-recidivists, and les déportés politiques, political prisoners, just like Captain Dreyfus, accused of treason, and who was sent to the Devil's Island between 1895 and 1899. But I'm going to take you to Lille Royale. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! You will leave from Kourou, which is also the location of the European Space Center. And when there's a launch, the islands are evacuated. It takes about one hour to sail to the island. The Royal Island is the largest one, Lille Royale. Whatever you see there was built by the convicts as nothing was planned for them. Those steps lead to the former director's home, which has been converted to a museum and you can see the architecture of the time. This is the former home of the security guards, which is now a hotel and restaurant, so you can stay overnight on the island. The prisoners had to build their own chapel, which was inaugurated in 1855. It was renovated in 2017. We are inside the chapel and all frescoes were made by Francis Lagrange, a convict, who was also a great painter. All convicts wore the same uniform, no name but just numbers. You may have heard of Papillon. Papillon was the name of a convict who managed to escape from the Devil's Island. And this was a nickname given to him because of his tattoo. Papillon means butterfly in French. This is what remains of the penal colony. This shows you where they were shackled when they were outside. And these are the cells, which are very small. The cells were small indeed, 2 meters by 1 meter 80. This is the bed of the prisoners, and on the right, you can see what was their pillow, and on the left, where they were shackled. Let's breathe outside. On the right, it says solitary confinement cells, and it was for those who had escaped or who had committed crimes on the island. As a punishment, they were taken to those dark cells for years with no one to talk to. Even the security guards who brought them f the food were not allowed to talk to them. The prisoners were given soup and bread every three days. This was like torture since they were convicted to death anyway, and when they came out, they had to face the guillotine. We are now entering the children's cemetery. Why children? 
the security guards often came with their wives and had a family on the island. This is the grave of a 27-month baby who died on the 30th of March, 1909. This is another cemetery. Who was it for? For the prisoners? No, the prisoners' cemetery was the sea. It was for the security guards and their wives. Here you can see a military hospital on the left and it was for the security guards, not for the convicts. And on the right you can see the lighthouse which was operated by a convict who was normally a mechanic. So everything on the island was operated by convicts and built by convicts. This island is also the home of many animal species. On the right is the Devil's Island and this ends our tour of the Royal Island and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. Au revoir!